We have a new and improved sandwich bread recipe, so I'm gonna share it with you. We start with 100 grams of our active sourdough starter. This is a very stiff starter. I did, there was like 100, no, there's 85 grams of starter left over and I fed it 214 grams of flour and 165 grams of water. Looks like I'm making three loaves of bread. <laughs> it was exactly 300. 30 grams of extra virgin olive oil. 20 grams of honey. You could also do sugar. 300 grams of filtered water. One egg. We'll give this a mix. If your starter doesn't dissolve all the way, don't worry about it. We're gonna mix it all in anyways once we add the flour and start doing all our stretch and folds. But just break up the eggs, get it as mixed as well as you can, and then we're gonna add the flour and salt. 500 grams of our bread flour, 10 grams of salt, We're gonna give this a good mix. You wanna incorporate all the flour so there's no dry flour left. You can use your hands, you can use your dough whisk, you can use a spoon, whatever you have available. So technically with the egg in it, it kind of pushes borderline of like a brioche style loaf, but we didn't add butter. We do have the fat from the olive oil, but a typical brioche loaf has butter in it as well. Um, so it's missing that, but I really like what the egg does to the sandwich loaf. So we're gonna cover our bowl either with a damp towel or if you had a plate that covered it, lid. I'm out of shower caps, so I'm just doing some saran wrap. Let it sit for 30 minutes to one hour. Whatever works best with your schedule. Don't get too technical with it. I'm gonna let it sit for one hour because I need to go return an old phone. <laughs> we'll be back for our stretch and folds. Get your hand a little wet. We're gonna lift the dough up and then stretch and then fold it in towards yourself. I'm gonna go around the bowl two times to do this. <laughs> I'm doing a voiceover on this because my son took my daughter's toy and so she was fussing in the background. So, saving your ears, you're welcome. Then we are gonna cover the bowl again because again, we're blocking the air from getting into the dough. Let it sit for 30 minutes and we'll come back for round two. Stretch and fold number two. Again, going around the bowl twice. The dough already feels so but a big stretch. This is what's building that gluten development in your dough. So it's very important that you get good stretch and folds in. Alexa, set a timer for 30 minutes. Round three. Your dough should start to be feeling more like a dough and it will be very fluffy feeling. Make sure you're scooping the bottom because sometimes the dough can stick to the bottom of your bowl. Just make sure you're really getting in and under there and incorporating that dough as well. You're gonna cover and let it sit for 30 minutes. Then you're gonna come back and do a fourth stretch and fold. And then we're gonna let it rise for about, about 10-ish hours. hours since my last stretch and fold on my sandwich bread. And it has risen quite a bit. It's starting to get bubbles on top. And it feels very fluffy. 
Part of me wants to just shape and put it in the sandwich tins now, but I'm gonna let it rise some more. We'll shape this in the morning and then it will go through a second rise. very big. So I'm going to divide this out into three and then I'm going to place them, shape them and place them in my sandwich loaf pans. So we're going to laminate the sandwich bread so it's just simply pulling out by the top two corners and then outside I'm pulling it down and then I'm gonna push the dough down and kind of remove those bubbles and oh. <laughs> folds in half and again push out bubbles fold in half And as I roll it forward, I'm pulling the dough back to make it tight. And then once it's all rolled, I'm gonna push my hands underneath and pull it towards me until we get that little log shape. And then in our sandwich, Now I'm just gonna take a clean dry towel and cover. And these will sit for about two to three hours. I wanna see them puff up, at least where the dough meets the top of the sandwich loaf tin. Then I'm gonna bake in the oven 400 degrees for about 40-ish minutes. Then we take it out, butter on top. You're not gonna see me do that because I'm gonna be at work. <laughs> but I have someone here that's gonna cook them for me. So, to be continued. So this is about three hours later. You can see they puffed up nicely. They go in the oven, 400 degrees. Throw some ice cubes in the bottom of your oven. This creates a steaming effect. We bake for about 40 minutes, then butter the top of them, and then bada bing, bada boom, you got some beautiful fluffy sandwich bread.